one here with strange. Got this. I got a brand new cell phone. And when I put on the special effects stuff, it cuts my voice out. It like comes in scratchy, like how are you? It's like he doesn't let me talk. I can go on for hours about all the sidetrack stuff. Example, I bought a thing called Video Pad, which edits your videos. And the first day I mentioned Illuminate, the Video Pad went from making movies really quick to taking two hours just to make a 30 minute video, just to edit the 30 minute video. In other words, it's like everything's rigged. Everything seems like it's rigged what it seems like but it's to sidetrack us you know because you're not gonna if, if I was gonna take you over and I was you know a trillionaire I would put all these secret doors in my technology stuff I would have stuff that would get you sick some stuff will be so I can hack into your stuff and look at you, spy on you. Like they're doing. Okay, let, let, let me explain this to you. Remember the Lord of the Rings? What was that guy's name? Frodo? Remember what the, the whole concept of Frodo was a one eye, like the Illuminati? What was the whole concept? He had this powerful ring. And when he put the ring, he carried it everywhere he went. When he put the ring on, he could hide from his enemies. They were about to get him right now, the second. Remember? But it allowed the eye of Sauron to see him. I don't really get that. Is that how it worked? Anyway, something along those lines. The point is, it was a, it was a catch-22. Like our technology now. You put the cell phone in your house they could hear everything you say watch everything you do watch your children undress and etc etc and then you got the head of the NSA guy what a year ago two years ago the, the guy who was like Mr. Peabody remember him what did he say yeah we're spying on you what you gonna do about it that's what he said he just, he just like right in your faces anyways but there's a lot of truthers out there Alex Jones, Alex Jones, he had a info war. I, I was making a, I just can't, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to go, I'm going to get mad, I, I'm not going to go there. Okay, so, Alex Jones, head of Infowars. people would always say he was a shill, I, I never saw no proof. Then, it's like, he has the power, he has the audience, to start prosecutions, he, he can get prosecution, prosecutions going. You know, I don't have very many viewers. I believe the gang stalkers, my gang stalkers that are around me are, 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 are clogging my channel. I'm gonna go door to door, put flyers up. I'm gonna get real people to come see me. Because to me, it's about prosecutions. And I'm not saying anyone's guilty. I, I don't know, I mean, around me, and I'm, not, I, I'm talking about the people that run America. People point at Obama, Hillary. I don't know who's guilty, who's not guilty. I'm not gonna point at anybody. I don't, I, I'm a Christian. I can't do false witness against my neighbor. If I have no proof, I'm just not going to point the finger. Something's going on, though. I got people gang stalking me that are working for the American government. Been stalking me all my life, so something's going on. I want to see prosecutions. I want to see the real people that are guilty put in prison. I don't believe in capital punishment because all of us are paying, in a way, for capital punishment, aren't we? We're all on this earth. We all have to die for something Adam and Eve did. I'm a Christian, so I believe Adam and Eve. We all have to die because of them, because they chose the apple or the fruit of knowledge. So I don't believe in capital punishment. But I do want to see people that are guilty, that are hurting people, go to prison. And in my opinion, this is my personal opinion, if you're, if you're peeking inside someone's house, I believe in private property. If you're peeking inside someone's house, if you're going inside someone's house when they're gone, if you're doing the things that these gang stalkers, that, that the people are pointing at them, that they're saying they're doing, the things I know they've been doing to me, I mean, just in general. And th these are black programs being ran by our government. Yeah, I do want to see people go away for life. Yes, I do, I do. 
I need a lot of us to. So yeah. I'm gonna go door to door, I'm gonna get flyers, I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever I can to get a raw audience. I'm more about prosecutions. I can go to Alex Jones at Watch Info Wars right now and he'll be talking about the same stuff that just rotated. Never about prosecutions. I would, if I was him, I would have spent 50% of the time talking about things, 50% of the time prosecute, 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 prosecute. Because if you got, if you were able to put one or two public faces away to, in prison for these serious crimes that they're alleging, it would start a riffle effect. Like when you get all the dominoes and you push and they all start falling over. You would start having real criminals suddenly going to prison one after another. You would wake up the sheeple people. Starting a prosecution would do a lot of good for us. A lot of good. And nothing's starting up. Also, the government, people like me that see that there's criminals, they set people up like me. They kill us. They do murder. They murder people like me. They, they try to kill me a few times. They murder people, they murder American citizens just for their political point of view. They set them up on fake crimes. They do all kinds of illegal stuff. Human rights are being violated. The Constitution's being violated. Oh yeah, I, I wanna see some arrests. I, I love Trump, I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 I wanna believe in Trump. And he, he impressed me, the stuff he was saying, but I, I, I there's a few things I want to see, and if I don't see, and, and he, he if, as president, he must know. <laughs> that makes a big difference to me. That's going to confirm if he's fake or if he's real. Anyways, it's about, I forgive, I, you know, these gang, gang soccer, I forgive my enemies. I just want them to vacate, to leave me alone. There's there's a few really hardcore assholes that have you know they're still like stalking me and pushing my buttons, trying to get me to talk, trying to get you know trying to test me. I don't like being tested like that, you know. It's like if I got some shit on you, you know, and I tell you leave me alone, just leave me alone. Don't 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 push me. I got friends and family that know what's going on. They're just waiting to see what happens, it, you know. And, and, you know, as soon as I vanish or, die, or get killed or whatever, that's going to, bam! It's going to confirm everything that he was 100% right on target. And the shit's going to hit the fan. The shit will then hit the fan. Believe me.